It's Miss Olivia here for a Halloween edition of What's New in the Children's Room, and we're gonna walk around with my good friend Return to Halloween Town, which is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life, and ask some Halloween questions. Let's go! For a sheet of stickers that are currently missing two stickers and are currently falling apart, name a Halloween book or movie that you watch all the time. Go. Go. Um. Disaster. Something scary. Yes. Okay, well, as a devoted Pats fan, this is the scariest book in the library right now. Look at that forehead, folks! <laughs> Look at it! You win! Yay, thank you. <laughs> Go. Jamie, for a set of Halloween stickers, name a Halloween book or movie. Go! Um, the OG Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis. That counts! That counts! You thank win! You. Yay! Lorraine, for a sheet of Halloween stickers that feature a ghost, a monster, and a sticker that says boo to you, name a Halloween book or movie. Oh, I have a perfect book. Edgar Allan Poe's Complete Tales and Poems. Very scary. Very scary. Catherine, what? for a sheet of Halloween st stickers featuring a ghost and a cat and an eyeball, name a Halloween movie or book right now. Name it. Go. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It works. It works. You get it. Oh. Allison, for a sheet of Halloween stickers, name a Halloween book or movie. Geronimo Stilton, because he must have gone to a haunted house. I will give it to you because he goes to many haunted houses. Right. Woohoo! <laughs> Melissa, for a sheet of Halloween stickers that feature a spider, a bat, and a one-eyed monster, name a Halloween book or movie. <gasps> the Lottery by Shirley Jackson. Graphic novel adaptation. That's so exciting! You win! Congratulations! Woo! Dawn, for a sheet of Halloween stickers, name a Halloween book or movie. Psycho! Awesome! That's really spooky. Good job! Lauren, for a sheet of Halloween stickers, name a Halloween book or movie. Okay. Nope. Nope. Take it. Take it. I'm done. I'm done. For a sheet of stickers, Halloween stickers that are missing a candy corn and a pumpkin, name any Halloween book or movie right now. Go. Um, uh, Baby Mouse. No! What, the Halloween Baby Mouse? No! It's too scary! No! Jamie, for a sheet of Halloween. No, 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 no. For a sheet of stickers that are in my pocket and I can't get out currently, what is the scariest thing about this Halloween season? Homeschooling. Okay, we're gonna walk away. Kate, for a sheet of Halloween stickers that include one that says trick or treat, name the scariest book you can think of. Oh, oh my god. So I am 52 years old and there was this book that I read, learned how to read reading, and it's called In a Dark, Dark Room, and there's this one super terrifying chapter about this girl named Ginny, and she wears a green ribbon around her neck, and you don't really know why, and she gets married, and she has this whole beautiful long life, and she tells her husband she can never take off the green ribbon, and it's wicked scary, and then at the very end, you're never going to believe what happens. She lives her whole life with this green ribbon around her neck. And when she dies, she tells her husband he doesn't take it off, and her head falls off. And this is for children? Yes, indeed. We're done. So my fans asked me, why do I hate Return to Halloween Town? And I'm sure that you know, but when this movie came out, they replaced Kimberly J. Brown with Sarah Paxton, and we were all just supposed to accept it, and like, there's no one really in it except like Benny and Lucas Gabriel after like a stint on High School Musical and we're like supposed to accept that this is not Kimberly J. Brown and it's not discussed and we all hate it. Thank you so much.
I will not apologize for my Return to Halloween Town rant. Because it's deserved. But I will say check out Halloween Town 1, Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge, and Halloween Town High this holiday season because they are a fun family romp.